Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello, welcome, we will continue fractional factorial design. Today, I will discuss in detail with the tutorial on 2 to the power k minus 2 fractional factorial design which is 1 quarter fractional factorial. The content we will introduce or other way I can say that we will revisit the fractional factorial design and then we will start one quarter fractional factorial design. I will I'll show you the construction uh, of that design and the finding out the alias structure. We will see one example with to the power 6 minus 2 uh, resolution 4 design and then we will discuss the dispersion effects and also we will do some kind of residual analysis for further insights of the on the uh, experimental results. So, one quarter fractional factorial design means 2 to the power k minus 2 fractional factorial design, where it is basically a from the general fractional factorial design where p equal to 2. So, as p equal to 2 there are two defi uh, two generators two generators let p and q which will help us in identifying the defining relations. So, other way identifying defining relations defining relations. So, how we do this the generators first is p can be positive p negative q positive and and q negative. So, we have four combination both p q positive both p and q positive or p positive q negative p negative q positive p negative q negative. So, this way a family of a family of generators will be created and we have seen earlier also what we have seen in 2 to the power 3 minus one design, we have seen that I is the defining relation is equal to A B C, where actually the way you, co you you have done, you have done A B and C equal to A B that was the that was the design and that is why we will having to the power 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 different observations experimental settings. So, in this example our uh, we have we have basically a one fourth fraction. So, p equal to 2. So, we have we, we, we have two generators ok. Now, let us see the slide. So, 2 to the power k minus 2 design it is full factorial in k minus 2 factors and two additional columns with appropriate previously chosen interaction involving k minus 2 factors. I will explain what is this later on. Here two generators say p and q with i equal to p and i equal to q is the generating relations. All four fractions associated with the choice of plus minus q are the family with p q both positive being the principal fraction. The defining relation with principal fraction 
is i equal to p equal to q equal to p q. Okay. So, what is the principal fraction? Principal fraction is 1 where both p and q are positive and the defining relationship with principal fraction principal fraction i equal to p equal to q equal to p q. What is this? With reference to one example we will see. Suppose, we are interested in 2 to the power 6 minus 2 4 design. I hope all of you know this pole this is resolution and this is the number of factors and this is what is the fraction. And by resolution we say the shortest resolution means the shortest number of shortest number of words in the defining relations that is what we discussed earlier. Now, for with reference to this design, so what do you want to define? We want to define P Q and as well as P Q. So, that can be seen with the with this matrix. So, what we will do here? It is 2 to the power 6 minus 2 design. So, that means 2 to the power 4 full factorial design plus some additional manipulation. So, what way you create the design? You create first find out the basic design basic design means it is to the power 4 full factorial design and then for another two factors create some additional columns like E and F. So, what you are doing here then how you are constructing this to the power 6 minus 2 4 design. So, you write down four factors A, B, C, D. The reason is it is 2 to the power 6 minus 2 4 means it is 2 to the power 4 4 in the sense that if I it is not exactly same in the sense that that 4 le factor levels it is complete. So, that means 2 to the power 16 runs a 1 2 to the power 4 means 2 to the power 4 means 16 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16. So, you write down that minus 1 plus 1 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 minus 1 plus 1. So, B minus 1 minus one plus 1 plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 plus 1 with this structure you know. Okay. So, in the same way minus 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 then plus 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 then here minus 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 one minus 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 up to 8 then plus 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 like this here plus 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 minus 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 plus 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 plus. So, put 1 in between. Okay. So, this is full factorial with reference to 4 factors. Now, we have another 2 factors one E and another one is F. Okay. So, what you require to do? You require to required to confound E and F with with some higher order interactions. Okay. Suppose, you do it is with A B C and F with B C D. Then you will be able to get you able to fill up this and you will be getting the getting the structure. How do you do A B C? 
a b c means minus 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 obviously this will be minus 1 plus minus minus this will be plus 1. So, a into b into c. So, minus plus minus this will be plus 1 plus plus minus this will be minus 1 in the same manner minus plus 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 this will be sorry this will be plus 1. So, in this manner f also you will create and then then this this table will be generated you see run 1 to 16 then basic design involving a b c d and you created this plus minus and then additional column e equal to a b c and f equal to b c d then you are getting the plus minus plus 1 minus 1 accordingly by multiplying the corresponding columns like e as confounded with a b c. So, e, e is the a column into b column into c column. So, that will give you minus 1 here plus 1 here like this. So, this is what is the, the design for to the power uh, 6 minus 2 4. Now, you may be saying that why should I uh, confound E with A B C, why not E with A C D or B with A, a, a B D something like this that is also possible. So, you can do, but what we require here we require the that E and F these two factors where which for which uh, which are basically additional factors. So, uh, considering a 2 to the power 4 full factorial design. So, you have to alias, alias with other way you have to confound with um, higher order preferably higher order interactions. Okay. So, by saying this what I mean to say. So, there can be other possibilities of confounding E and F, but this A B C and B C D this this works well also. Okay. And and if this is the case, then what is the what is what is your P? Suppose our this C the generators coming from this. So, E equal to A B C. So, if you multiply this with E then E into E is square equal to A B C E which is I and another one is F square will be B C D into F this is also I. So, if we say this is basically A B P P is A B C E Q is B C D F B C D F then multiplying these two what you will get P Q equal to A B C E into B C D F. Now, A is fine B and B B square C and C C square D is fine E and F this will become I into I I. So, A D E F A D E F. So, then what are the defining relation for this for your case here 1 i equal to a b c e another one is b c d f another one is i equal to a d e f you have three defining relations defining relations using the defining relations you will be able to find out the alias structure. Okay. So, as there are three defining relation it is possible that you will get three alias structure for every factor will be aliased uh, with three other uh, effects every effect will be aliased with three other. For example, if I say i equal to a b c e you multiply with a then it is b c e what is this this is the structure alias structure a is alias with b c e if i take the second one b c d f multiplied by a you will get it is a b c d f if you consider i equal to a d e f 
you multiply it with a you will get a square so d e f. So, then in this design when you estimate a you basically estimate a plus b c e plus d e f plus a b c d f. Okay. So, A equal to B C E D E F A B C D F. Similarly, you will get B, B will be your B plus A C E plus C D F plus A B D E F D E F. So, in this manner, basically what is happened that this dependent relation 1, 2 and 3. So, what do you do? You multiply every effect with the defining relation, you will be getting the alias structure. Okay. So, you can write in this way or other way we can write A equal to B C E equal to D E F equal to A B C D F. This is also the way we write alias structure. Okay. So, the alias structure for this particular design with principal fraction is given in this table. You see the table first we have given the alias structure for all the main effects a b c d e f and then we are given the second order interaction effects a b a c a d a e a b d and b f and then the third order interaction a b d a c d like this. So, interest you see that here this is the color combination this color for the main effects this color for the uh, second order interaction effect this is for the third order interaction effect. If you see that A all the main effects are not aliased with any second order interaction effects, but they are aliased with third or higher order interaction effects. Here you see the second order interaction effects are aliased with or confounded with the second order and here the fourth or fifth order interaction effects. And the third order interaction effects are aliased with other third order interaction effects with this design. So, this design that means if we assume that that the three third or higher order interactions are insignificant then this b this this third or this values b c all those things they will become almost zero then this is an estimate of the main effect so you will be able to estimate the main effect but if you assume that the third order interactions are significant some of the thing or you uh, in reality or in practice you find that they are really significant then it will not be true but from the sparsity of effect principles you know that higher order interactions are usually negligible. So, as a result I ca we can say this design probably gives you fairly uh, fair estimate of the main effects considering third or higher order in interaction effects are negligible, but that is not true for the second order interaction effects because second order interaction effects are also aliased with another second order interaction effects. So, you cannot distinguish these two effects, but there are Occam razor principle, there are heredity principle. So, using all those things and also through the expert knowledge you will be able to identify which of the uh, effects are significant, which of the effects are not significant. Okay. So, far I, we have discussed the principal fraction, but I, I said you that there are three more one is that p plus q minus p minus q plus and p minus q minus. So, if I say uh, that p equal to a b c e then p minus will be minus a b c e. If q is b c d f then min q minus will be minus b c d f and if then obviously, if p q is our a d e f then then obviously, p minus q minus will be 
also a d e f ok so if you choose any one of the three then these are these are basically alternate fraction alternate fractions so when you use alternate fractions so you thinks the sign conversion things will be different for example if you use the first one like p plus and q minus you see what is happening defining relation is like this a b c e i equal to minus b c d f and another i is a b c e into minus b c d f so a is not there b b cancel so this one is minus a d e f so this is basically for p plus q minus so that been p plus q minus the defining relation is this so ultimately defining relation is this this and this and accordingly the alias structure will change how alias structure will change if i go for this design so first one is a b c e that is i second one is i equal to minus b c d f third i is generalized one a d e f if you multiply with a you are getting b c e here but what you will get here you will get here minus c d f what you will get here you will get here no no here not minus c d f if you multiply by a this is a b c d f here if you, you will get minus d e f so so that mean it is a equal to b c e equal to minus a b c d f equal to minus d e f other way if we denote in this manner we will write a plus b c e minus a b c d f minus d e f so your alias structure the sign conversion there will be some changes in the sign okay so that's why you have to be careful about what kind of that alternative when you use the fractions what fraction you are using principal or alternate fraction and accordingly defining relations also you have to be very very careful okay another important thing is the pro projectivity projectivity what is projectivity in last class i i have i have said that if you do a 2 to the power 3 minus 1 design fractional factorial design then what will happen you may find out in a b there is there is full factorial suppose this is a and this is b you will find out this so that mean it is 2 to the power 3 design it is fractional but in 2 to the power 2 design it is it is full full 2 to the power k factorial 2 to the power 2 factorial so that mean higher order fractional will become lower order full and that is the projectivity in and depending on the resolution so it will be the projectivity uh, level will be understood because p equal to r minus 1 in this case this is 3 design to the power 3 minus 1 3 resolution then p equal to 2 so that means in every two dimensions a two factor cases it will be uh, full factorial okay obviously with two labels so then what will what will happen uh, to projectivity when we are talking about 6 minus 2 4 design hmm so <coughs> so obviously you 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 see that what is the resolution resolution is 4 r equal to 4 so if p equal to r minus 1 so that means 4 minus 1 that means 3 so obviously in some factors cases some cases three factors will be getting full factorial and some cases you will be getting it uh, fractional factorial so that is what is the projectivity in case of fractional factorial design you see 
a 2 to the power 6 minus 2 4 design project is to a single replicate of 2 to the power 4 design in any subset of 4 factors that is not a word in the defining relations. Okay. So, so what I, I said here that the obviously actually what I, I said this is this is from the resolution, but actual thing is that uh, you have seen from the design point of view A, B, C, D they are always in the full factorial then E and F we have gone for additional columns. So, what I mean to say here that means the where the where so in the defining relations you have some words some some factors if those factors so you you take a a subset subset of a b c d e f which comprises the factors that are not in the in the defining relation then you will be get, you will be getting four factor uh, full factorial design for on, on, the, on, on for those four factors but if you go if 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 some of the factors are in the defining relation then you will be getting subset of four factors. So, that means fraction 1 of fraction of 2 to the power 4 design that is what is 1 of fraction of 2 to the power 4 design 3 design that is what is what we mean to say here. So, let me repeat here that a 2 to the power 6 minus 2 design project into a single replicate of 2 to the power 4 design of any subset of factors that is not in a word of the defining relations. It it also collapsed into a replicated one of fraction of a of a 2 to the power 4 design in any subset of 4 factors that is a word in the defining relations. And in general what happened a 2 to the power k minus 2 fractional factorial design can collapsed into either a full factorial or fractional factorial in some subsets of r less than equal to k minus 2 of the original factors those subsets of variables that form full factorial are not words in the complete defining relations. Okay. So, so that means, uh, uh, when you have fractional factorial design, you, you, you will get two kinds of projectivity, one with, with the full uh, factorial uh, with respect to the basic design kind of thing that the four, if, if, if it is resolution 4 then the 4 factors and 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 so if they are those factors are no, those factors are not included in the defining relations and if if some of the factors are included in the defining relation then for those it will be uh, that one half of the um, to the power 4 design in this particular case in case of k minus to the power k minus 2 this is also similarly true so now very quickly i uh, will i'll explain that it's a basically um, injection molding process where parts are manufactured using this process so there are there are uh, there are six factors mold temperature screw speed holding time cycle time gate size and pressures and they are uh, coded values are like this and we have taken first a b c d in the basic design because it is to the power 4 uh, full factory case. So, what is that 16 design this I have already shown you and e equal to a b c and f equal to b c d these are additional columns created and the experiment was conducted and the observed sinkage from part to part uh, that is shown uh, that is measured and it is multiplied by 10 and the resultant quantity is given here. Okay. So, how do you calculate the effect? Uh, effect you will calculate using the contrast. So, that con and, and, and accordingly you have computed. So, and 1 by uh, 2 to the power um, k into n. So, accordingly and into contrast that n equal to 1 and you are getting basically um, like a single replicate in all cases then calculated a square that is to the power k into n and square and in case of effect k minus 1 in case of 
ss raised to the power k into n that will be divided. So, this is the procedure we have adopted earlier and you have seen and what is to be done how. So, in the same formula using the similar formula you have computed all those uh, est uh, estimated effect and their regression coefficients and their sum of squares. So, here what is assumed that third and fourth order interactions third and higher order interactions are not significant. So, as a result what happened if you see the alias structure under this design then a, a all main effects are interact uh, aliased with third or higher order. So, if the third and higher order interaction if we neglect, so from analysis we can write that these are the these are the effect estimate or regression coefficient for, for only the main effects. But second order interactions they are aliased with another second order interaction, so you cannot uh, remove them and so that means these are the things are given here and a b d e a with the two third order interactions. Uh, are given and we, which are aliased with other third order interaction also. Now, if you carefully observe the regression coefficient or the effect, you will find out that a b a b effect are significant and and other effects are not significant because the the a is 6 b is 17.8 and c others are very small and a b plus c is 5.93. So, and that also they are if you see they are some square the contributions is also more for a b and a b plus c e, but <coughs> as c is c is not significant and uh, we and also e is not significant. So, we are assuming that the effect c e also will be not significant uh, significant and as a result a b plus c e we are 5.93 we are considering that that may be the effect of a b only because a and b are significant there. So, now other uh, the same thing can be achieved from this normal probability plot of the effects. So, if you do this you see that all the other effects are along the straight line, but only a b and a b they are away from the straight line. So, these effects are different or significantly higher than the remaining effects. So, using this you will be in a position to find out this find out this regression equation that y is beta 0 beta 1 x 1 beta 2 x 2 beta 1 to x 1 x 2 and then beta 0 is the average of all the uh, y values and beta 1 is basically 6.93 beta 2 is 17.8125 and beta 1 to is 5.93 and that is what we have given here. Okay. So, in this manner you can discard many of the effects and you are you are getting a direction of further research as well as you, you have screened out that is why you have screened out many of the effects. Okay. So, now, <coughs> now um, with this uh, another important uh, aspect the dispersion effects. So, the dispersion effects here is, so what you require to know that you require to know whether the different factors at a low level and at high level they are they are producing the same dispersion effects or not. So, in order to do so what you require to do you require to find out the residuals. If I go back you, you all of you know y equal to x beta plus epsilon. Now, in this example in this example y star is basically beta 0 or straight away I can write 27.3125 plus 6.9375 x 1 plus 17.81 x 2 plus 5.9375 x 1 x 2. Okay. And what is y? y is this plus epsilon. So, the error then the error equal to if I write e or epsilon this is y minus y cap. So, y minus y cap. So, y values are known y cap value you will be finding out using this equation then all the error or other way these are also known as residuals when it is estimated and then it is known as residual. So, residuals will be known. Now, if you see this, this equation, this is a, this is a fixed 
part given knowing x 1 x 2 this is a fixed value. So, if when you plot for a certain such combination fixed value then a, and then y part y part the, the pattern part is captured here, but the variability part variability part will go to here. So, that is why all the variability of y is not captured here it is the mean is captured here the variability part is captured there. So, now if we have the residuals now using the analyzing the residual values we will be able to know the dispersion effects effects at different level of x x plus x minus kind of things. So, that is what is done here for all the factors. So, the residuals are calculated for all the observations and then for a plus and a minus the, the standard deviation of the residuals are calculated. For example, in this case S i plus 3.80 it simply shows that simply shows that when if we consider the data on the all, all the all the even observation 2, 4 all those things for the residuals and then calculate the standard deviation you will get this value and similarly for S minus, a minus. So, this is what actually been calculated for all the effects and then if you see the values you, you will find out there are certain cases where that the way if the factor is at high level the residual is different when the factor is at low level such cases there we say there is dispersion effects. So, in order to estimate this a quantity f i star is created which is log of that standard variance log of the ratio of the variance when the factor is at, at positive high level and factor is at low level. And this ray log of this ratio is normally uh, distributed with mean 0. Now, if you if you do the, the standard deviation or the variance plot in the normal probability plot, you will find out that those which where the dispersion effect is present, they will be away from the straight line. For example, if you consider C here, this C factors, the C factor you see if if C is at positive high level, then the dispersion is 5.70 when it is a low level it is 1.63 this is quite different high high difference and the ratio is 2.50 which will be significantly higher than uh, than the no difference case so that is what is seen in the third figure here you see when c is at low level the dispersion effect is low but at is high level the dispersion effect is very very high getting me. So, these are the some residual plots. Now, if you want to interpret the first plot, if you see that the mole temperature effect uh, with B uh, when B is at negative and what is B? B if you see B is the screw screw speed and temperature is A. So, screw feed if it is lo at low level, screw feed is at low level you see then your mole temperature effect is negligible there is almost no change. But if we, if we screw feed is at high level then the mole temperature has a gross effect when you change it from low to high. This is basically the interaction plot this way you have to interpret. So, that means what do you want to keep you want to if, if you want sinkage to be minimized you will keep both mole temperature and screw feed at the low level. Okay. What does it the second figure say? Second figure talks about the normality assumptions whether the, if the residuals are normal then they will definitely follow this straight line and this is the procedure we have discussed much earlier and you know how to compute the probability probability plot, how to develop draw the probability probability plot. Okay. So, here it is almost normal and the third figure says that variability dispersion effects in C at at low and dispersion effect when C at as high is different. Okay. 
and that is what is seen from the disperse the probability plot of the dispersion effects f i. You see that all, all others values are following the straight line, but c is very far away and the difference between the standard deviation of the factor c at high and low level is larger the dispersion effect is significantly different for c high and c low case. So, this is the these are the ways uh, from interpretation point of view. So, conclude to, to this uh, uh, this exception. So, what I mean to say here is that that fractional factorial design is a very very important design for designed experiments, because there are lot of many factors many a times and you cannot go for all factors even at two levels. And we have discussed earlier to the power k minus 1 mean one half fractional factorial region with different re resolution. Today I have given you example of 2 to the power k minus 2 resolution 4 and k minus 2 means one quarter fractional factorial region very elaboratedly. And you have seen many things first one is your defining relations it, it, it depends on that what is the fraction level. So, as p equal to 2 there will be two, 2 generators and it will lead to 3 defining relations. So, there will be principal fractions where there will be there will be alternate fractions. If you use principal fractions your LS structure will be one way. If you use alternate fraction the LS structure will be different whatever may be the thing, but you must answer uh, must be able to interpret and the results whether you are using principal fraction or alternate fractions. Now, when you go for fractional factorial design the beauty, the beauty is that the higher order interactions are usually negligible. So, at lower level if your resolution is quite good you get lower level lower level uh, reasonable good estimate values and you will find out in the 2 to the power k minus 2 fractional factorial design. So, there will be a single replicate full factorial design with involving k minus 2 factors or less depending on resolution and 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 also one half of uh, k minus 2 uh, fractional factorial design for uh, those factors which are not uh, included involved in the defining relations. And then what we have given you, we have given you that how, how to find out the uh, significant effects and then from there how to develop the regression equation. Once you have the regression equation, you can find out the error terms which are basically known as residuals here. Now, the residuals has so many useful properties to test the assumptions, you can test normality assumptions, now you can test the uh, dispersion effects also and we have introduced a concept called f star which is basically log of uh, that variance when the factor is at high level uh, by the, uh, minus the log of the uh, um, variance when the factor of at a low level which is basically log of ratio of the two and this is basically can calculated using the using the residuals because the, uh, the you have seen from the regression equation that the pattern part that will talk about the mean of y values not about anything about the dispersion of y values the dispersion effect is translated to or transferred to the residuals so the that is why the residual is used to um, check the check the dispersion effects. And with this example we have seen that there is one factor C which was at low and high level there are a lot of dispersion uh, difference in dispersion and this is this is this is a significant one and this, this these things must be known because the assumptions are uh, violated in main uh, if such things are happening. Thank you very much have a nice day.